Hello fellow Voyagers, Jess here with Odyssey Human here today to talk about tired of waiting for your desire, acceptance is the key. So welcome to the channel. This is the place where we uh, help you hack through the jungles of consciousness so that you can discover the hidden treasures inside of you. So glad to have you. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe. We'd love for you to join the channel. And today we're talking about acceptance. This is a really helpful thing. In the interim, whatever the interim is between, you know, kind of proclaiming, declaring our desire and then seeing it manifested in our 3D reality. And so what happens often and even what I've found uh, in my own process and journey is that we tend to get into this kind of um, it's, it's like ping pong. It's this back and forth between two states of consciousness. And what are those two states? The first is feeling the wish fulfilled, being in your desire, knowing you're that person already, imagining it, feeling it, sensing it. And then the minute you open your eyes, you're like, ugh, back to reality. And that opening your, especially if you're fresh off your want, right? If you just are like, oh, this is really what I want. Um, and that desire is really strong when you're in regular reality or like when you're not in the state of the wish fulfilled, it feels very unpleasant. And that, that's that longing, that lacking, that, oh, why isn't it here yet? And that, that's waiting, right? Waiting is a state of consciousness. Waiting is super uncomfortable. It's like a wasteland, right? When we're in a state of waiting, we don't feel comfortable to be in the present, right? It's this it's this weird state of consciousness where we want something out in the distance in the future and it feels like it's separate from us, right? And we can't achieve it. And it's, it's, it's really unpleasant feeling of separation <laughs> waiting. So, um, yeah, and we typically really want something, especially when 3D conditions are really bad. You know, say you don't like your job or you don't like your relationship or you don't like where you live. So when we're looking at the absence of what we want, you know, those, those conditions, when we, we perceive that we are living in those conditions right now, it emphasizes that wanting and the waiting because it's like, oh, I'm still here. I'm still here. I close my eyes and I can imagine what I want, the new job, the new relationship, the, you know, the new living situation. But then I open my eyes and I'm back in that wasteland of not having it and being reminded constantly, right, that I'm waiting for it. And so that's lack, you know, waiting is lack. And the paradox, the paradox of manifesting is that whatever we're paying attention to, right, we're creating more of. Whatever we turn that tractor beam of attention to, we're creating more of. And so when we have these extremes of waiting for something and then asking for it, visualizing it, trying to be the person in the wish fulfilled, it creates this really severe sense of contrast where it's unpleasant, you know, it's unpleasant. And this is, it creates an overall experience. If you were to step back and look at and say, you know, oh, I've been manifesting this for however long, right? We, we tend to bring time into it. We have a real fixation on it's been this many months or that I've been trying to manifest or in my manifesting process, we, we cut the notches into the wall <laughs> of how long we've been having to go through this. Um, and that is what we want to break. We, we want to disrupt this entire cycle, right? Because A, waiting is really uncomfortable. And B, um, as Abraham Hicks said, you can't get there from there, right? We can't be focused on when we are focused on a reality of waiting. That's the reality we're making more of, right? And we create that painful contrast of having it in our imagination, but then waiting for it in 3D reality. And that emphasizes the waiting. It, it kind of, it like reinforces that overall experience of waiting, of wanting, of longing, of lack, of it's not here yet. Where is it? I'm so frustrated, you know, and where we're giving our power away. And we only really feel good when we're visualizing what we want, you know? So 
We want to extract from this. If we stepped back and looked at this as a process, we want to change one piece. And what is the piece that we want to change? We want to move, we want to find acceptance. Acceptance is a really powerful tool. Let's try it right now. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. I fully accept where I'm at right now. I fully accept it. Do you feel that? You can feel that in acceptance. Acceptance is not rolling over. It's not giving up. It's not, but it's letting go again. It's releasing. And if you haven't watched my video on letting go last week, I'll link it above, but it's releasing the fixation on the lack, releasing the fixation on it's not here, releasing the fixation on what I, the 3d circumstances I'm seeing right now are painful and I want to get out of them and they suck. It's, it's a surrendering, it's a trust, it's all those words that where you're like, uh, it's, it's a breath out energetically. You're going to feel it. And you might have felt it right now. You can acceptance. I accept, I fully accept where I'm at right now. And so what we're going to do then, instead of toggling between, I have my wish, I see it, I feel it, it feels so good, and then I open my eyes and Ugh, I'm still in 3D, I want it, I don't have it, we're going to change this piece of, of lacking, right? We're going to move to acceptance instead. So this simple shift, all your, when you're in your manifesting process, as you continue your process, you're going to toggle instead of between lack and fulfillment, lack and fulfillment, lack and fulfillment, you're going to toggle between acceptance, fulfillment, acceptance, fulfillment, acceptance, fulfillment. So it's fine to keep visualizing. It's fine to keep doing those pieces, whatever your techniques are doing, or just knowing that you're that person. But the piece that we're going to bring in instead and change is Instead of lacking, instead of looking at 3D and saying, this isn't good enough, I don't want to be here, we're going to drop the resistance. Because um, what is resistance? It's paying more attention to what we don't want. Paying, getting all our attention to what we don't want. That's what resistance is. It's not allowing in what we do want. And so the kind of intermediary step is acceptance. Acceptance is a nice neutral ground. It feels peaceful. It feels calm. It's, it brings you back into the present moment. You will tangibly feel the shift in consciousness when you do it. When you accept fully, you're just like, I accept exactly where I am. You know, this isn't where I'm going to be forever in these circumstances or whatever it is that I'm desiring. I'm not going to be here forever in this space, in this present moment right now. So I accept this moment. It's a really grounding sensation of I'm right here right now and I accept this it's okay it's okay and you're gonna feel a shift in consciousness when you start doing this and you will feel it immediately so you can you can start by just practicing acceptance for a few days for a week or two and then reintroducing your techniques or you can just remember you know when those thoughts of la lack come up when you're start to feel frustrated and overwhelmed, you accept those feelings. You're like, I just accept where I am right now. I, I accept that I'm in this state that feels not how I want to feel. I accept this. It's okay. I'm bigger than this, right? Acceptance is about stepping into your completeness, your wholeness, all of who you are, because you're able to release then when you practice acceptance, you can release that lack. You can release that wanting. You can release the attachment to needing something to be there or something not to be there for you to feel okay. And acceptance is, is really powerful. So um, try it. Give it a try. Remember, toggle between those two instead. Acceptance and then practicing your wish fulfilled. And you're going to find, again, that the overall experience of your manifesting process is going to change dramatically. You will have gone from the severe contrast of lack and fulfillment, lack and fulfillment, lack and fulfillment to acceptance, fulfillment, acceptance, fulfillment. It's you will have leveled up in your states of consciousness. 
and it the whole experience of manifesting is going to feel much better much smoother much more enjoyable you're going to find yourself being in the present moment and just feeling good feeling okay feeling fulfilled feeling whole instead of feeling lack feeling disappointed feeling frustrated so try it let me know what you think i'm happy to engage with you thanks for watching and have a fabulous day